So, VJ, apparently you once said that you wanted this house to make people go weak at the knees. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. I'm definitely feeling shaky and it's nothing to do with these heels. No, actually, um, this house has uh, a lot of history to it, a lot of sentiment. Uh, when my uh, father passed away in 1983, uh, my grandmother was very distraught. That's the first time that I was told that our family temple was actually here in Goa. It was about seven years ago that uh, the chief priest of uh, our temple here in Goa contacted me through my office and said that the deity that we worship as a family uh, somehow wasn't pleased with me. Uh, difficult for Westerners to believe this, but... And he came to Bangalore and said something very interesting. He says, you were supposed to build your family home in Goa, which you haven't done. Um, having a family home is, is very sacred, very sacrosanct in our culture. This is probably the only property here in Goa that stretches from the main road all the way to the beach. And that explains why it's so long. It had to be oriented this way. It is quite something. <clears throat> it's, you know, I've, I've seen some opulence in my time doing this gig. How much of a hand did you have in designing this place? Uh, no decorators at all. Did it all myself. You're and, kidding? Yeah, absolutely. And talking about opulence, all these are absolutely priceless Tanjore paintings. Wow. Uh, which are antiques. And uh, that's actual gold leaf, uh, hundreds of years old. That's beautiful. Actually, I, I bought these in South India and have been collecting these for many years. And so when I designed this big hall, it was the proportions were decided by the art. Just round here, I noticed <coughs> earlier that there's a picture of your father. How important are his teachings to you um, today? And I respect him for, for his shrewdness. Uh, I remember in 1977 when uh, Moraji Desai was Prime Minister of India, he advocated prohibition for the whole of India. And obviously the values of all uh, liquor companies and breweries collapsed. Uh, my father actually went out and, and acquired uh, these companies at, at pretty cheap values, which propelled UB uh, into uh, being a significant player uh, in, the, in the industry. So he bucked the trend and had the, the guts and the foresight to, to buck the trend. I remember having asked him uh, why he was doing it and he said, the uh, government revenue depends too much upon this industry, particularly at the state level. Uh, and we are very large contributors, so prohibition has never succeeded anywhere in the world, not even in the United States. It's not going to succeed in India, and so, um, you know, I'm going to decide to grab the opportunity when I can. So, um, I guess a bit of the sort of uh, confidence that I have to take businesses stems from, from his example. Over here, we have what cannot be ignored, the drum kit. How often do you get a chance to, to practice and, you know, really to play with any of the huge array of toys that you have? Whenever I'm here, uh, I, I really sort of uh, do what I want to do. Um, and if I feel like playing the drums, I play the drums. If I want to play a bit of uh, pool, I play pool. If I want to... Uh, swim, I swim. You know, it, it's 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 kind of totally chilled out. But I have my office there, uh, fully staffed, uh, opposite the discotheque, where smaller parties take place. To others <clears throat> watching this, this might look like a charmed existence that you've got, and you know, you live in utter paradise. Is there anything about your life that you would change if you could? I may have done a few things differently in my life, but otherwise I'm, I'm happy and content the way I am, actually. It doesn't uh, surprise me. I'd be happy and content, too.